Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong. In this video, we're gonna do a review of the Toad Fish Travel Rod. The cool thing is it all fits in this one carrying case. Obviously, it doesn't come with the reel, just the rod and the case, and Otis is here to make sure that I'm unbiased. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the, the top three pros and the top three cons of what I've seen so far after using this, this setup. Obviously, if you've used this before, please, please let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you. And this is not sponsored. We're not gonna take anything down if it's overly bad or overly good. Whatever comes is gonna, is gonna stay. And so let's talk about the pros first and then we'll get down to the cons. So as far as the pros, I would say the most unique thing about this, first of all, it comes with a nice case, but the most unique thing about it is it actually has some extra, some extra rods in there, some extra blanks. It's actually a four in one rod setup and let me explain. So what you get is again, this nice tube, we'll throw that down there. And I've already assembled the rod, but the cool thing about it is it comes with a base, you get one base, and then you have two options for the midsection. So you can actually control the power. What I have here is the medium heavy blank. So this is the midsection. There's a medium heavy and a medium. And then on the tip section, you get two tip sections as well. I went with the fast action and there's a moderate as well. So this is what I've been using. I've been using the medium heavy with the fast tip, but also if I wanted to change things up, if I was on vacation or whatever, and, uh, and I, I was using a lighter lure, I could switch to the medium midsection. And then the same thing for the tip. If I was throwing some live bait, like some live shrimp, and I didn't want to have a, a tip, an action that's too fast, then I can go over to this, it says moderate fast. So really, really cool. I've never seen this before. And, uh, and just everything's nice. Like just everything has been just the overall nice experience. And so an added bonus of that as well is if you are on, on a trip and say you, you actually break, a, break the tip in a fan or something like that, normally you'd be out of luck because you don't have one rod. In this case, you have the extra tip. Yes, it'll have a different action, but you at least have a backup plan. So really, really cool. I've never seen that before. And so I just wanted to, to mention that as the first pro. So second pro has just been the actual feel of this rod. Um, so I've been using, again, the the fast action tip, this is a fast action blank, and it's a true medium heavy power. I really like this for throwing artificials. I've just been using this. My first trip, I caught a mahi in just 45 feet of water, which I've never done before, so it's proven to be good luck. Also caught some good triple tail sight fishing, triple tail inner buoys with a little, little uh, power prong USA jig, and it has accurate cast, it has good feel of strikes, and then handling those fish, it did a great job as well. So again, so far the performance has been great. And the third pro I'd say is just, is just this has nice components. Everything on here seems nice. The guides are good. And it even go back to the carrying case. This is a heavy duty case. If you're a hardcore traveler, this would be a case that you will not be worried about your rod breaking when you're going through airports or even just going in and out of, of, uh, of cabs, whatever. This is hardcore stuff. All right, so now let's go to the cons. So, so overall cons as far as just overall travel rods, multi-piece rods are not going to be as good as single piece rods. So, so I will not recommend this for somebody who can travel well with the one piece rod because no matter what happens, right, you have all these extra, this extra material in the connector sections. These always are going to be a little bit heavier than single piece rods. So again, so if, if you can travel with one piece rods, I would recommend going with the one piece over this. Another con is, is the overall weight. As I mentioned before, this blank is a little bit heavier. Also, their butt section is a little bit heavier than what I'm used to. But, but overall, it's been good and actually balances. It actually balances really nice. This is the Fuego 2500, so it actually does balance really nice. So for this setup, I have the Daiwa Fuego 2500 on this, and this is the 7.2 version. There's a 7.2 and a 6.8 uh, option. And, uh, and so again, even though it is heavier than I'm used to, it still feels nice. And especially for traveling, for a hardcore traveler, this is a, this is a great setup. And so the third con is price. There are a lot of travel rods that are less expensive. This is under $200, it's just, just short of $200. But again, the, the, as far as my impression so far as what they made it out of, the fact that you get almost four rods in one where you can actually control and, and, and customize the, the, the power and the action, I've never seen that before. And so this is one, this, is, this so far has been my favorite travel rod that I've come across to date, right? And so if you have used this before or if, you, if you've used other travel rods that you absolutely love, please share. I'd love to hear from you. We get the question all the time from, from members in our club on who like to travel on what rods they should get. And so far, the, if, if $200 is, is in the budget for the rod plus the carrying case, this is so far a really, really good, uh, good idea, in my opinion. Otis approves. 
and we've recently been selling some Toadfish products, and this is one that just got back in stock. So if you do want to pick this up, we have it on our shop, fishdrawn.com. And for members, you actually can get some good savings on this rod as part of your, your membership benefits. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for your time and watching. As I mentioned before, if you have used this setup, please let us know your thoughts. Good or bad, we want to hear from you. Comment section down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for your time. We hope to see you again soon.